my name is John Chiava and I'm the president of Lumatech. Now Lumatech is a company that was established with a very, very focused objective of conceptualizing, developing, and manufacturing LED lighting products for the marine industry. So we are a lighting company, but first and foremost we're a product development company. And that distinction is important. It really shapes a lot of the things that we do. And it means that we're always looking out in the marketplace for exciting new technologies. Technologies that will help us increase the value that we're offering to our end customers, increase the quality of the product that we're offering, and really increase the overall user experience that our products offer to our end users. Well, you know, the DSS team, the relationship with them started, I don't think so much as an expected um, collaboration, but more, of, more as a mutual recognition of and respect for our company's respective technologies. You know, and being out in the field and going to customer visits and then being at the trade shows, we saw in their products a system that we knew was going to be very, very robust, a system that was going to stand the test of the time in a harsh marine environment, and that's very important to us. Um, as we started to dig a little bit deeper, though, we saw a system that was very, very powerful. So at once, it was easy for users to interact with. It was very, very easy for builders to deploy. But beneath that veil of ease and simplicity was a system that was very sophisticated and very powerful. And similarly, as in our products, we see a very, very similar personality. We see products that are very, very easy for the user to interact with. They're easy for builders to deploy and that they can strip out some control modules and they can use any switch. But beneath that layer of simplicity, there's a very, very sophisticated microprocessor that's controlling what the light's doing. There are feedback circuits that are measuring the temperature of various locations on the circuit board. There are, there are monitoring circuitries that are looking at how much current is going through the total device and how much power is being dissipated by the total device and measuring the, the temperature to make sure that everything stays in harmony. So again, with the, two, with the two products, a lot of symmetry there and a lot of complementary personalities. As we looked at the team and we started to get to know the team better, we saw a group of people that was very passionate about their technology. In working with them, they were very, very easy to work with and to interact with and to share ideas with. And I think importantly, the team overall was very, very eager at moving very, very quickly to bring these exciting technologies to market. You know, the, the technology that we're, develop, that we're um, demonstrating here today at the show really only scratches the surface. It only begins to describe what could be done. You know, you can imagine what you've seen when you've looked behind the electrical panel of a 32-foot express cruiser, for example. You'll see dozens and dozens, if not hundreds, of individual circuits. And many of these circuits are going to non-mission critical lighting applications. Think about how much the builder had to spend for each one of those circuits and each one of those switches, for all of those terminal blocks and bus bars. Think about how much their rigors how much rigging time they spent in cutting and terminating and butt splicing all of those individual circuits. Think of the shrink wrapping, excuse me, the shrink tube and the labeling that they did. A whole lot of labor there and a whole lot of hardware. Labor and hardware that we feel can be eliminated. Eliminated by using a single power bus line. If you can imagine conversely, instead of all of these individual circuits and switches and all of these individual wires, a single trunk line that might run down the center of the vessel. And from that trunk line, individual devices could be run. Imagine, for example, if we had a trunk line that ran from stem to stern, and if the builder decided that he needed to add additional lights to the main salon area, he could do so just by running a power line to the individual lights, and then by running, um, obviously, a, a ground line to the, to the ground bus. Now, controlling that light becomes easy, because we can, we can initialize that light from the DSS system, and we can send that light commands. We can send that light the command to dim or to change colors. We can tell that light that we want it to interact with other lights in a certain way, and we want certain lights to be harmoniously um, illuminated at the same time or dimmed at the same time. And the exciting thing about this is all of this information and all of these instructions can be configured at the builder level with no changes in hardware and no changes in rigging. So it's profoundly powerful in terms of the flexibility it offers its builders. Let me give you some examples here on the demonstration panel we have. We've created sort of some scenes that we thought may, might be useful to certain boaters. Let's say, for example, that we have a builder that wants to um, allow a safe way for his customers, for his um, operators to get on and off the vessel. Maybe we establish a scene that's called disembark. By pressing disembark, the back lights are illuminated so that the, that the, um, the passengers can get onto a dinghy or perhaps get onto a, to a, um, a dock. This area is illuminated, and after some predetermined amount of time, let's say 90 seconds or a few minutes, the lights will slowly dim down to conserve battery power. Or, 
let's say that we wanted to set up a situation where uh, maybe the, the um, operator of the vessel is an angler and he wants to set, um, have a scene called fish on. So in fish on, the captain may have um, some light to do his navigation and to keep track of where he is in his GPS and mark down his coordinates. But the angler has full illumination of the water surrounding the vessel and he can see where that fish is. And when he comes tight and they come alongside to wire or gaff that fish, they have good visibility of the fish. Maybe after a night of fishing, they want to drop the hook somewhere or tie up at a, at a dock and they want to have a couple of cocktails. So they can press their cocktail hour um, scene and they can have pleasant lighting for them to enjoy their evening. So all of these types of scenes can be configured at the, at the um, OEM level. It's a very, very um, powerful system. And of course, any of the individual lighting circuits can be programmed to control a specific light. Maybe there's a light on the vessel that the, that the captain is always going to need access to. Maybe there's something that they want to be able to control remotely, like an engine room light. And they can change the state of that light to an end state instead of just toggling back and forth like other systems. So for example, the captain can have a, a, an interior space off button to where all of, the spa all of the lights on the vessel, all of the lights on the vessel inside the salon area might be turned off. This is useful if you have guests on board and they go down and they want to get themselves a snack or they want to go into the head. As guests oftentimes do, they might return back to the cockpit area and leave lights illuminated somewhere down inside the vessel. The captain's not aware of that and they're burning battery power. The captain can just conveniently press a single button and any interior lights will go on regardless of their starting state. He could further enhance that functionality by automatically making those lights turn off at a predetermined amount of time. So for example, they could set up a cruising scene to where any light that's illuminated downstairs can slowly dim to off after five or ten minutes. So you know that your guests are going to go downstairs, you know that they're going to be using lights, but we can program it so that those lights will automatically turn off. All of this type of functionality can be, can be implemented at the builder level and it all can be done without any changes to hardware. So overall what we have here is a system that we think is profoundly powerful to the builder that offers the end user a very, very intuitive and very useful interface. And that really is going to allow the builder potentially to save a lot of money. So overall, something that we think is a win-win. It's a win for the end user, it's a win for the builder, and it really, I think, portends a, a win for the DSS Lumatech partnership. So we're really excited about it.